Good morning, everybody. If we get everybody's attention, we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm Deputy Fire Chief Tim Hayes. On behalf of Gainesville Fire Rescue and the City of Gainesville, I extend to you a hearty welcome to the new home of our latest community resource, Fire Station Number 8. The great football coach Vince Lombardi said, individual commitment to a group effort makes a team work. It makes a company work. It makes a society work. It makes a civilization work. And I'd like to recognize the members of our team whose commitment has made this project a reality. And recognize some of our dignitaries here today. Our Honorable Mayor Craig Lowe. And just raise your hand. <laughs> City Commissioner Poe. City Commissioner Wells. City Manager Russ Blackburn. City Manager Paul Vokers. Assistant City Manager Fred Murray, Fire Chief Gene Prince, Local 2157 President Jeff Lane, Lieutenant Keith Saunders, where are you at? Our Project Manager, and of course our community members. From Alachua County SO, we have Captain Charlie Lee, Major Fellows, Captain Vermillion, from ACFR, we have Chief Northcutt. Santa Fe College, we have Lewis Mallory. We have a former International uh, Firefighters President, Jeff Bram. We have our City Charter Officer, Brett Goffchop. All right. I'd like to introduce our first speaker, the Honorable Mayor Craig Lowe. Come on up, sir. Thanks everyone for being here for this wonderful occasion. Uh, our um, fire department has been, made a great contribution to our community in providing for overall public safety for all of our citizens. In our community, the city of Gainesville is committed to fire rescue services, and that's been exhibited by the recently enacted fire assessment that we will be using to help fund programs and facilities just like this one. A, a few years ago, members uh, of the staff of the fire department came to me and told me about some future planning that we needed to conduct for future fire service provision. And they pointed to the need for three additional engines and also uh, an increase in fire services in a particular area in our city. And this particular station is a result of that planning. So I want to applaud uh, our forethought with respect to the leadership in the fire department for this type of plan and now we are enacting it. Also, I want to thank the neighbors uh, of this area for their help in locating this particular site because it is the neighbors in this area and around the city that this particular facility will be helping to protect. And since we will be ensuring a good level of service, an excellent level of service of fire protection, we will be keeping insurance rates low for our citizens. And first of all, and most of all, I would like to thank the citizens of Gainesville for their support of public safety in our community and look forward to continuing to serve them to ensure that public safety is top priority. Thanks so much again and look forward to seeing this project continue and come into actuality. Thanks so much. Next we have our city manager, Mr. Russ Blackburn. Thank you, Tim, and good morning. Uh, this is a great day, a great celebration for Gainesville, for our residents, for everybody involved in fire rescue. Uh, I've got to tell you a little bit of story. Five years ago, about this time, I was selected as city manager, and before I came to Gainesville, I got this letter from then uh, interim chief Bill Northcutt, and he talked about some of the issues in the fire department, and one of the things he mentioned was we really need to build a new station to fill a void in our community to provide better service. So immediately upon arriving in Gainesville, Bill and I began to talk about how to get that into the budget, how to make sure it was in the, the capital improvement plan. Uh, Bill and, and fire uh, rescue staff had already been talking to the, the commissioners you know, to build the support. And we thought it would happen really easy and really fast. Uh, 
But, you know, thinking back, uh, a lot of things have happened, you know, in the, since that time. One is interim chief Northcutt became chief and retired since then. <laughs> Twitter didn't even exist. Uh, we didn't, we hadn't gone through the worst recession that the country's gone through since the Great Depression. And there were a lot of things that could have gotten us off track. And I feel very proud of the city commission, the mayor, uh, of the fire rescue department, of the leadership, the union, everybody for saying this is a need of our community. There's a hole that impacts service, that impacts our ability to respond. And in spite of all of our financial difficulties that we've gone through, in spite of five years of change, you know, we're here today to do the groundbreaking for Station 8. Uh, that's a great thing. It shows perseverance. Uh, former Chief Northcutt, thank you very much. Former Chief, retired former Chief, new uh, Chief of Operations for Alachua County. Uh, without your leadership you know, and, and perseverance and pushing, you know, this wouldn't have happened. Jeff Lane, who is the president of the union, thank you for your, your constant discussions that we need to keep going forward and not, not waver. And thank you to the city commission uh, you know, for all of your support to make this happen and to our citizens. Uh, station 8 is, is our first station in a number of years, new station. Uh, it's going to be state of the art for you know, response, for providing you know, first class service to our citizens. It'll help us maintain our two in, two out requirements. Uh, we will be uh, locating a ladder truck here at Station 8 that will help us uh, distribute our resources so that we have uh, the ladder truck not only in Station 1 and, and closer to the core of the city, but in the northwest area. Uh, all will make this service to our citizens, you know, the best fire rescue service that any city could envision. Uh, a lot of people is you know have made have worked to make this work. Once we got from the city commission, you know the 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 policy direction and the funding direction to move forward, then it goes into a, a design and construction mode. I'm uh, very pleased that uh, we have uh, good project managers on staff with Amy Ramey from Amy Raymer from General Services. Uh, we have uh, Bentley as our architect, uh, has done a very fine job on the design. And we have a local contractor, M.M. Parrish, uh, raise your hand back there, guys. Uh, it's always great to have uh, local contractors doing work here in Gainesville, you know, which we're going to hold them accountable for, you know, because they're here. And the good news is that uh, their employees will get paid out of city funds and we'll all benefit. Uh, Gene Prince, uh, Chief Prince, uh, has done a great job, although uh, uh, I was working for most of this directly with uh, former Chief Northcutt, the real guy doing the work was Chief Prince. So thank you, Chief, and uh, you've done a really very good job to make this happen. So we want to uh, look at this as, as really a benchmark day for the city of Gainesville. Uh, it took a team to get here, everybody working together to make you know this station a reality uh, we're looking forward to the ribbon cutting so thank you next we'd like to have jeff lane president of local 2157 good morning uh we just told as we arrived today we'd be speaking, so I apologize for no prepared remarks, uh, but you're probably saved uh, uh, any additional comments that weren't necessary uh, by the lack of my preparation, though uh, I have uh, my great assistant here, my son Austin. Uh, and thank him for being here today. Austin brings to mind a benchmark, not only in my life, uh, as he's one of the greatest things that uh, my wife and I uh, can testament that we leave on this earth is our, our legacy, uh, but this station in a way reminds me of that. It is a legacy, and it's a statement of who we are as a people in this town. Uh, this project began many decades ago. The need was identified many, many chiefs ago, and certainly many managers ago, and in fact, many commissioners, commissions ago. But it's one thing that led it through that identified need, and that's vision. And I really, really must thank the commission that we have now, and the leaders we have, and the manager, because all those top people have to share a vision 
that we must move forward and identify and solve the needs, not just identify them, but figure out a way to solve them. And what a better time in the time of our country to have a testament, Northwest Gainesville, that America will come back together. America will revive itself. And we must plan on that revival. We must plan on that restoration by investing in our core services and investing in our people. So to me, this station is a testament and a monument to who we are as a people and our vision as a community. So I thank everyone that had a plan in it, and I thank our new generations, because really, it's for them that we do this. Thank you. Next, we'd like to have Interim Fire Chief Gene Prince. Well, I appreciate everybody being here today, and I'm glad Jeff wasn't prepared. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember not to follow him again. <clears throat> but, you know, you heard a lot about leadership and vision, and it's certainly been a vision uh, as we started back almost six years ago, as we were talking about today, about Station 8 and uh, an underserved area of the community we thought needed to have uh, better service. We looked at the actually the Alachua County uh, Fire Master Plan showed a future station to be in this area. Uh, it was put together with uh, countywide fire service in mind as well as the city, and that helped us reconfirm that we needed this area. We also took advantage of uh, other leadership we have in our fire department, and that was with our uh, local union who has some uh, resources that we didn't have at the time with GIS and GPS to help us go through that and make sure we were putting this station in the right place. So where you see it today, where we're fixing to use these shovels to turn over some ground, had a lot of work to go into it. And uh, if you think it's easy to find two acres in the city of Gainesville that's undeveloped, it is not. Uh, Chief Northcutt and I looked for about two years, and it took about two years to get everything done and then go through all the processes. And, uh, you know, it, on these times, I want to remember people, and there, some of them are humble, uh, just like we're humbled every time we get the support from the citizens of Gainesville for the fire rescue services in this city. We saw that throughout the... Uh, fire assessment discussions throughout the planning for this station and throughout the budget time. So I'd like a couple of people to come up here with me because I think it's very important to recognize them. The first one would be Chief Northcutt from Lachua County. <laughs> Jeff Lane from, uh, is one of our district chiefs and also the local president. I'd like to get Amy Raymer up here. You heard her name, but I'd like you to see her. I'd also like you to see a guy that likes to stay in the background most of the time, but I'm going to make him come, and that's uh, Milton Reed, who is the director of our general services department, who is in charge of all uh, construction and makes things go. Uh, he told me how long this would take to do about four years ago, and I kind of laughed. <laughs> but I, I'll tell, now publicly, I'll say, Milton, you were right again. Uh, I would also like to have another young man come up here who's been very instrumental in the fire department being successful to get this um, project to this point. And uh, he has a lot of background in construction. Uh, he came and uh, wanted to volunteer, but as you know how things go, you can't let people volunteer much anymore. But we were able to put together a committee through our local to have him come in and help through this project, and that's Keith Saunders. Over here, Keith. Uh -oh. Now, you know, the city manager was kind to say that I, I uh, worked a lot, but I got to delegate a lot. <laughs> and this young man here has a lot of experience. He's a general contractor and right himself. And uh, all the plans, all the diagrams that you see, along with uh, making sure we were putting rooms in the right spot, along with Amy and all those involved, Keith was heavily involved in that. And uh, he was also he heavily involved in helping us talk to our neighbors and keep them informed of everything we did. Uh, we owned the property for about a year and a half or two. Uh, we had to keep the road maintained and different things like that. And he would come out here and do that kind of work just as it was needed. So Keith, I want to say a special thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. But the other vision comes from the commission who uh, at any time could have said, no, we're in a rough time. We, we don't need to do this. 
but they uh, knew the commitment we had started five years ago and uh, certainly came along. We were fortunate to have good companies bid on this and fortunate to have MM Parish to be our contractor, so we certainly thank them. And uh, Gary Cranson, if you could come up, is our architect. And him and his staff put together a great design, uh, came back when we had challenges on our area and put it together. And certainly if we could get the mayor and Commissioner Wells, Commissioner Lowe to come up and the manager and Assistant City Manager Paul Fokers, who we report to, if y'all line up behind a shovel, this would be great. And we'll get this done. Do we have enough shovels for everybody? We got some more shovels right over here. Can we get a couple more. We got plenty of dirt turnover, so I don't think we'll run out. <laughs> but certainly we thank the citizens of Gainesville for their support because, you know, they're the ones that help fund everything that we do. We thank them for their support throughout the city and uh, fire rescue. And uh, we're going to get started here in a minute. And uh, Chief Hayes, if you'll come up and uh, give us the uh, signal to uh, turn to dirt, I'd appreciate it. Not every day you get to tell the, the chiefs and the commissioners and the city manager and everybody what to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Let's do it. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we got y'all here. Thanks, everybody, for coming today. We appreciate it very much. Today, in terms of having a fire department up here. Um, well, this is a great step forward for the city. Years ago, an analysis of fire protection services in the city did reveal that there was an area that was underserved. So, through long-term planning, we identified a strategy to fill that gap and to add a new fire station to increase the level of service for this area of the city. And in terms of what it took to actually get this vision implemented, how? How would you say that process was? Well, it was a combination of uh, land use and zoning uh, decision making and also funding. Uh, and it is the implementation of the fire assessment that did allow us to continue with this station and to staff it and provide that level of service that people of Gainesville deserve with respect to public safety. Do you think again, uh the Gainesville public should be happy that, you know, that the fire assessment was passed and that their money is being spent to fund this? Uh, well, I think uh, that uh, the fire assessment definitely did provide the means for us to give the level of service that the people of Gainesville deserve and expect. And when you talk about, when you talk about um, dropping insurance rates, what did you mean by that? Uh, well, the um, insurance industry rates communities based upon the level of fire protection that they provide to their citizens. And the better the fire protection, the lower the insurance rates of uh, the surrounding communities. Well, it's a historic occasion for Gainesville Fire Rescue. What it does for us is it allows us to assemble a group of firefighters for a house fire a lot quicker. We're required by the state to have two people out for two people in when we first start a, a firefighter. And that's really important safety factor for our folks. Having this station here in this location will allow us to do that because we have to bring about four or five vehicles together to have the complement you need to effectively fight a house fire. When was the last time a fire station was built here? 1980, 30 years ago. So it's been a long time coming? It's been a long time coming. Uh, you know, the city's done well to keep up with some of the need uh, throughout the history of our fire department. And what this is allowing us to do is serve an area that was annexed uh, and needed a little bit better response times in the area. We're going to actually be able to increase our response times in this area by about 12%. From what I understand, you were heavily involved in this process. So our, now that now that we had the groundbreaking, is it kind of sweet? I mean, how sweet is it? Oh well, I can't can't begin to tell you how sweet it is to be at this point. There's a lot of work that went through for a lot of people over the last four or five years. 
Uh, we've had steady support from the city commissions over that four or five years, from the manager, you know, from the mayors. Uh, and uh, that's what's got us to where we are today. Without that and the support from the citizens, this project could have died. But uh, we feel very good to be at this point today, and we look forward to about ten and a half months from now when we can move in here and start providing service for the city. Now, I know it's a, a tough economy and the fire assessment was passed. What did, would you say to the residents about the need for this fire station to justify that, that kind of spending? Well, I will tell you that we, uh, we identified a need about six years ago. And the commission, through their planning and their budget, really looked hard at this project and said, can we do this? So they decided through their capital improvement plan that they put together for a five-year period to fund this station. And that's why we, where we are today, the money was put up five years ago. We've been able to draw on that money when we bought property and did part of the uh, site work and different things you have to do to begin one of these, to get the architect on board and different things like that. So I would tell them that we started planning like they would require us to do, make sure we had a good budget plan in place, and we've used that all through here. So what they're seeing today is the accumulation of all those things that came together that allows us to be successful in this project, bring it in at a price we needed to bring it to to make it uh, reasonable for the citizens. And the response times we're going to be able to increase the uh, safety for the firefighters is uh, going to be well served through this project as the citizens have uh, placed their faith in.